Wait, how much was that? 100,000 right there. 100,000 damage. We'll get more. 200,000. Wait, how much was that? Efficiency. Like, we're not even been worried about efficiency. Uh, just Yo. Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, we've got a Gara build. Now, if you saw by the previous clips, this did a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. And that was Steel Path, by the way. Um, I know it didn't look like it, but that was Steel Path. Um, yeah, we did a lot of damage. So, I'm just going to go over Gara real quick and a couple of abilities on her. We're just going to use uh, some he uh, heavy gunners just to basically show off the abilities and on how it works. So for starters, with Agara's fourth, that's what we're going to start with because this is what you're going to be using the most, is it brings out a shield. Now you can do it as many times as you want, uh, you can do it as long as you want and uh, basically just the further, the longer you hold it out, the longer, the, the bigger the radius is. It's a really nice defensive thing, but you're not, in this case, not really going to be using a defense as much because this is mainly a survival build, a survival build. So. Like you just saw there, I end up exploding it. So think about it as a frost. So with frost, his first ability can explode it. Same with this one. So there's two ways of exploding it. You can either just press it, or just shoots a single like beam, just forward, or you can hold the A button and just like a like a swipe. What is really really good, what I recommend doing, because instead of uh, pressing it, it's just really easy to do. Now the only problem with this at the moment is I am running quite low on energy, but it's all good. So next is Splinter Storm. What this does is it gives us one 90% damage reduction, as you see in the top right, and also we get a like an indicator. So if you look in the right-hand corner, it says 477. Now this damage can stack infinitely. So well, how you stack it is you really simple. You get your guard shield out, you go outside of it, and you just break it. And you see here our damage stacked. Now this can go for ages. I don't think there is like a um, a stat um, where it stops. Uh, where I was at is like one million. That is like basically the area where I was at, and it's just it's insane. It does a lot of damage. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but with Splinter Storm, if you use your fourth, your uh, duration basically gets reset back up to the max. So if you see here, it's on 18 seconds, 17 seconds, blah blah. Use your fourth. And look, back up to 30. So you're going to have, basically, this is going to be your way of using Splinter Storm more or less forever. So then you just break it and, yeah, rinse and repeat. Use that to break it. Use that to gain your damage. And if you see here at the moment, we're not doing too much damage. Like, it's uh, it's okay, it's okay. But it's not too much. But what I'm going to show you is it combined with Corrosive. So we're going to get a, a full, basically a full enemy. And I did a little bit of damage to him. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack Corrosive on him, okay? We're going to walk closer. And see that damage there? You see this damage here? This is only a 70k, by the way. This is only a 80k damage right here. It is not too much. It is not too much. This That's just an 80k damage that we stacked up. Remember, we was at 1 million. And this is what we are dealing with. So, that corrosive on. And look, just one shot, one shot. Uh, two shot, a couple of two shots. You basically, yeah, you just stack corrosive. You stack your damage. Uh, with your fourth and your first and easy and then you obviously have your clips for your damage increase damage reduction whatever so now i've gone through the abilities i'm going to go over the build so the build is quite simple it's quite simple mods to get uh, so only adaptation is probably the somewhat hardest one so for starters we've got transit fortitude on here this is for ability strength because you want to have a nice amount of strength on this because yeah why not Nice amount of strength, also 90% damage reduction. Very nice. For survivability and a bunch of stuff. Next, we've got Prime Continuity for duration. You want to have a nice amount of duration so you're not keep having to recast it. Because if you keep having to recast it, then your energy pool is just going to be terrible. Like You're going to have to be basically Zonoric and using energy pads all the time. But uh, with this build, you have a perfect, perfect amount of duration to have your energy and not being able to run out of energy. 
Next we've got adaptation on here, this is for damage resistant if you don't know what this does. Basically when you get shot by an element, so say for example get shot by heat, it will then stack 10% damage resistant to heat. This goes all the way up to 90%, so 90% damage resistant to heat or impact or uh, slash or any of the status effects. That's basically what it does, basically makes you harder to kill with them status effects. So really good mod on, for more or less any frame to be honest, I use it more or less on any frame, really good mod, highly recommend. Next is Stretch and Augur Reach. Now, I'm just going to put these basically the same. It is basically it is the same range. Simple there, range. Next, we've got Umbral Intensify. This is for more power strength because why not have more power strength? Next, we've got Augur Reach. This is Augur Message, I mean, for more abilities duration to just help us out a little bit on our energy and not having to use so much because our duration is low. And next is Streamline to help on our energy again. So we don't have to spend so much. Uh, next is Arcane Guardian and Energize. Now you're probably looking at this and you're like, you have no health mods. You have no uh, redirection, no rolling guard. You don't need that. You don't need any of them he uh, health mods because your Splinter Storm gives 90% damage reduction. Combine that with Adaptation, what gives 90% resistance to the damage that you're taking. Yeah, you, you're taking like uh, maybe one damage a time. And then obviously you have Eclipse as well, they give 75% damage reduction when you're in the dark, but I'm not 100% sure if that stacks. Uh, put in the comment section down below if you know if it does or not, because I don't know. I may have just got it for the damage, because extra damage, why not? Next is the Kuva Nuko, again this is really simple uh, Kuva Nuko build. It's just corrosive, so Hornet Strike for damage, Lethal Torrent for multi shot, Pistol Pestilence for Toxin and Status Chance, Auger Pact for more damage. Uh, Pathogen rounds for Toxin, short shot for status chance because we always want to be getting corrosive, so I want to get that 100%. Uh, barrel Diffusion for multi shot and also Confusion for Electricity to get uh, uh, corrosive. Next is the Telus Aboltis. Now, this weapon I highly recommend using, not just for the Gara build, but in general, it's a really good melee to use because it does a nice amount of damage and it has a little bit of crowd control so i'm going to show you what i mean by crowd control real quick so we're going to get some uh, heavy gunners real quick again and i'm going to show you on how the tennis bolts works so when you side attack you can pull them together for example like this it pulls them together now you're probably wondering how is this going to work so when you pull them together you can then just uh, just use the kuva nuko like so and then when you have your max stacks obviously we spin storm you just run at them and they'll all die basically what you want to do and then yeah you can pull them in and then you do it again and it basically just makes them fly out crowd control uh, very nice to do and it also does a quite amount of nice amount of damage if you see here has a nice amount of damage also it's not a slash uh, weapon so you want to be having viral uh, you want to be having corrosive not viral and uh, yeah basically yeah it just pulls them all together and then you just basically just do your new core and then it'll be dead by the time you even try and walk to him because Splinter Storm is already activated so but like if you see here, we'll activate Spin Storm, we'll bring them in together, use our new core, and uh, yeah, obviously we're not doing too much damage now because we haven't got them stacked up, but yeah, that's basically how it, the basics of it will go. So, it's a really, really good weapon to use for, not just for the Gara build, just for in general, because it has a nice amount of crowd control, nice amount of damage, but uh, we're mainly going to be using it for a stat stick on here. So, the reason why is because i got a nice juicy ribbon on here, which gives us melee damage and attack speed. Well, basically, having that attack speed makes it feel like a normal melee, so really, really good to have. Uh, next, we want to have pressure point for more melee damage, because why not? Uh, Blood Rush on here for the crit chance. Uh, Virulent Scourge on here for the toxin. Uh, Shock and Touch on here for electricity. Prime Smite Grenier for the basic damage to Grenier, because we're getting to Grenier. Spoil Strike for the damage, and also Fever Strike for toxin, so we can end up getting corrosive. Like, a very nice amount of corrosive right here. 2,000 corrosive damage. A very very nice amount of corrosive. Also next you want to make, make sure we're using Zonoric. Zonoric here helps out quite a lot with just basically getting energy because energy pools for starters, energy pickups grant 50% additional energy over 5 seconds so you're going to be gaining energy and then combine that with Energizer Dash what gives you more energy and then combine that with Energy Siphon. So yeah a lot of damage I mean a lot of energy right there that you can get. But uh, yeah, if you guys did like this build, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be very much appreciated. This build was found while I was actually streaming over on Twitch. Well, if you didn't know, we actually do giveaways, uh, prime sets. We do uh, platinum giveaways. We actually did two giveaways today, a Vara Prime giveaway and a 50 plat giveaway. 
So if you do want to be entered into them, make sure you go check out my Twitch. Uh, link in the description down below. You know what also is in the link in the description down below? My Discord. Go uh, join my Discord. We can we we'll talk about Warframe stuff. Uh, just chill out. Uh, basically, be able to know whenever I'm streaming, whenever I'm uh, making a video, and when a video is up. So, uh, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Peace out.